Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have discussed about how to create an array with the help of some numerical ranges and uh, some functions we have seen. And in this session, we'll move on with how to initialize the ND array with some specific value. Okay, so there are a few functions to fill uh, the elements with the values. So that we'll see. And apart from that uh, initialization functions, We'll also discuss about the two more functions that is shape and reshape, right? Yeah, let us move on to the session. Initialization of arrays in NumPy. Initialization of arrays in NumPy. So first we'll see the shape and reshape functions and then we'll move on to the um, initialization because we are supposed to use this shape uh, in uh, while uh, initializing the NDIs, right? So first one, the shape. So this function will return a tuple specifying specifying indices and the number of elements number of elements so that means it will directly give the shape of the array for example if some a is having the arrays some 10 20 30 so this is one one uh, one index and this will be the another index let us consider okay so we know that it is a two by three three i mean two by three okay two by three so this will give so one thing we have to remember that whatever the functions we are using in numpy that should be called with the help of numpy itself okay or we can also create an alias name so before using that we have to import numpy we can also give some alias name np or directly we can call with the numpy okay so np dot shape of a this will return a tuple of these indices and number of elements so two indices each index will be having some three elements so this is the dimension or a shape of that particular array shape of that particular array okay and if you are having one more uh, row see 70 80 and 90 okay here we will get the three indices with the three elements three indices with three elements right so this is the usage of a shape so in order to know the shape of the particular array we are supposed to use this shape function with the help of calling uh, calling this shape function with the help of uh, np okay and one more thing if you want to change this one if you want to change the shape of this element okay so let us consider this one let us consider this one so this is two by three okay if you want to change the shape so I, I don't want to get this shape just i want to get the shape of 2 comma 3 okay i just want to change the shape to 2 comma 3 so then we are having a one more function called reshape reshape okay reshape so in this reshape it will accept the array name So for which we want to re, uh, reshape the, I mean, uh, change the reshape and then the new shape dimensions. So into which we, we want to change it. Okay. Into which we want to change it. And also, okay. So these are, these are the two things we can have in the reshape. So NP dot reshape np dot reshape first one array name so it is a 
and what we have to do shape dimensions new shape dimensions the required new shape dimensions so present it was around two 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 by three and the new shape i just want it for three by two okay three by two so i will give here three by two three by two so this will automatically return the elements so it will change the reshape into like this see you can observe previously the data will be here like this Th 2 by 3 and now it becomes 3 by 2 okay so don't worry i will demonstrate everything by executing this, these things in the interpreter so and one thing we have to remember the the total number of elements should be same okay so here the total number of elements are 6 here also if you are changing the shape it doesn't change the number of elements right so here we are reaching reshape we are changing the dimensions but even we are getting the total number into six and if you want to change the same thing with the three by three with the three by three so three by three means the total number of elements will be nine but we are having only six elements so this will not be possible so we can reshape the existing array only without changing the number of elements okay if any uh, if there is any deviation that, uh, that means if, if the number of elements are not matching with the reshape then automatically it will raise an error okay it will it will not execute successfully it will raise an error right so that should be remembered before uh, doing the reshape right now after uh, going with this one we'll go with the initializations that is very simple functions are there so after that we'll go with the practical that means a demonstration of all these functions in the interpreter now the first one is <coughs> zeros the function zeros so the syntax for this one is we have to call it with the um, library name that is an np or an umpy so if you are giving an alias name we have to call with the alias name or we have to call with the numpy okay i'm giving i have given the alias name as np so i am calling with this np dot zeros zeros and first one we have to give a shape we have to give a shape that means a tuple with a number of dimensions and elements comma and here we can give the data type data type so this data type can be a float or integer so this will be the default data type so if you are not giving any d type automatically the data will be by default the it will be float okay so example i just want to create np dot zeros some two comma three okay two comma three comma d type is equal to or simply if you are not giving anything so if you are not giving anything so we'll get the result as so two dimensions with three elements zero dot comma zero dot comma zero dot right and again zero dot comma zero dot comma zero dot this will be returned okay this will be the return okay everything will be in array function array function okay array function this will be the result for this one so it will create an array with the given shape and it all the elements of uh, uh, i mean of that array will be initialized to zeros because here we are using zeros function right and here if you specify the data type if you specify the data type so here i am specifying the data type as integer so or so no inverted quotations so d type is equal to integer automatically everything will be only zeros there will be no point after the zero there will be no precisions okay so if you are not giving any d type here if you are not mentioning any d type by default it will be considered as a float right yeah and this is all about the zeros okay zero function and then there, there is a one more function called once once function so here also the same thing same thing but here we'll get the result as once so all, everything will be 
initialize it to all the elements will be initialized it to once okay so here also first of all we have to give the shape and then the data type and here if you are not giving any data type automatically we'll get one dot one dot one dot and all the elements will be initialized with a float variable i mean float data right so this is once and now i just want to initialize the, all the elements with a given value i just want to give a single value uh, so all the elements should be initialized with that with that particular given value then there is a function called full 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 function will uh, initialize the elements with the given value the, the value should be given by the user or a programmer so here are the syntax is same so np dot full of okay and here we have to give the shape and here we have to give the value default value and uh, that's that that's enough okay so automatically we'll get np dot full of some 2 comma 3 come 5 or 50 so this will return an array function with the elements 50 50 50 because that is a two indices okay so comma 50 50 50 so this is the result we can get by executing this statement so we have to specify the value and all the values or all the elements of the array will be initialized with that particular default value right and there is a one more function uh, that is i i so i will take the square matrix and it will initialize one once on all diagonal elements or positions and initialize zeros so ones and zeros zeros on all non diagonal positions so it will consider only the square matrix only the square matrix so the syntax will be np dot i okay either rows or columns so one, only one thing is required either rows or columns because both are equal right so rows or columns comma you can also have a d type okay you can also have the d type right so by default it will be float and uh, if you are using np dot i some three np dot i as a three so it will create the three by three three by three okay so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so this is one list this is one list and this is one list and completely of a one list and everything will be in array function So all the diagonal elements will be considered initialized to 1 and all the non-diagonal elements will be considered and initialized to 0. Okay. So this is how we can initialize the elements of an ND array in NumPy. So we can initialize the values, all the values to zeros or a 1s or a specified value or we can also initialize the dimensional, the only diagonal positions with the 1s and all the non-dimensional elements with zeros okay that is with the help of i function i right so hope you understood this uh, theoretical part so now we'll uh, i will demonstrate all these functions i will execute all these functions in the interpreter so let us move on to the interpreter 
Hello friends, so just now we have seen how to initialize the ND array in NumPy. So we will see the pra practical implementation of all those functions. So in that uh, we have seen uh, shape function, reshape, zeros, ones, full and i's. Okay. Now we will see one by one. So first of all we have to import the NumPy. I am giving some alias name NP. So I have to call all those functions with the help of NP. So first of all, let us create a one dimensional array so that I will demonstrate the usage of shape. Okay. So we know that how to create an array. So array can be created with the help of array function. So some a is equal to, I'll give some NP dot array of, I'll give the data. Okay. So I'm giving some six elements and then yes. So if you print a, we'll get the array. Okay. So I have say, I have shown the difference between the arrays and the list. So list is a comma separated values and array is a space separated values. Right. Now if we want to know what what is the shape of uh, the particular array, we have to call the function called shape. Np dot shape of a. So it gives a tuple of or tuple of elements. So that means the first one gives the dimension and second one gives the elements of that particular dimension, right? Now I will show you one more thing, one more example. So if you consider this one with a two dimensional and see, yeah, yes. So you can observe 10, 20, 30 are in a one row and a 40, 50, 60 are in a second row. So see, now if you print A, we'll, we'll get a two dimensional array. Now, if you want to get the size np dot shape of a see you can observe here 2 comma 3 that means two dimensions and in each dimension there is a three elements two dimensions in each dimension we are having three elements and let it be see if you consider again I, I will take one more uh, example and I will show you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is a three dimension, three rows and two columns. Okay. So if you are printing A, we'll get a three dimension. Right. So now if you try to find out the shape of this array, See, three dimensions and in each dimension we are having two elements. Three dimensions and in each, each dimension we are having a two elements. Okay. So that means uh, we can call it as an indexes. Okay. Rather than we calling it as a dimensions, we can call it as an indexes. So three indexes and each index is having a two elements. Here also uh, two indexes, each, each index is having a three elements. And this is the usage of shape. So we can find the particular shape of the array. Okay. So now what about the reshape? So we can also change the existing shape of an array into the required one. So we will see that one now. The function used for reshape is reshape itself, reshape function. Now again I will take, I will consider the same thing. See a single dimensional array. So I am just printing the array so that uh, See, we'll get a single dimensional array. I just want to reshape. So, uh, before reshape, I, I will apply the shape function. So, that is a 6. 6 means that is a 6 indexes. Okay. There is a no sub element. So, there is a 6 indexes. Only 6 indexes. Right. Now, I just want to reshape the array. So, reshape of here we have to mention the array which we need to reshape that means a and we have to give the new shape new shape in terms of uh, tuple the same thing so i just want to 3 comma 2 I'll, so that means a three indexes with each two elements see you can uh, you can observe here so here a is a single dimension with all the six elements but here i am reshaping the a into three indexes with two dimensions uh, two elements three indexes with two elements okay and also 
So this will not be saved at any place because we are just calling the function. We are not initializing that to any variable, right? Now again, once again, I just want to reshape the thing. So you can reshape with to a comma c to comma three. So you just uh, uh, we have to remember that here there are six elements, so that must be equally distributed. Okay, then only the shape will be. Considered okay, it will be successfully implemented. And if it is not equally distributed, that means the shape must contain the equal number of elements. So here we are having some sixty six elements. So I am just reshaping that into three indexes with two elements. So total we will get six elements. So it matches with the number of elements. So we can we will get the result. See here also I am reshaping a with the two indices with the three elements in each. So totally six elements will be there. So automatically we will get the result. But If it is not possible for this one, see, so two indexes with four elements, two indexes with four elements. So that means total eight elements, but we are having only six elements. So this will give an error. It will raise an error, value error. Okay. So this must match with the number of elements, right? So. See, this is also possible. two two dimensions each dimension is having a two indexes each index is having two elements sorry 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 okay see uh, one more example we'll consider and then we'll see so we can also consider see th this this will take so now if you print a okay if you print a we are getting some uh three indexes with the two e each element right now we can also change this shape the shape so even this can be changed into 3 comma 2 that means three and two elements okay so sorry this is already 3 into 2 we'll consider it as a 2 into 3 okay two the indices with the three elements in each yes so we can convert the existing shape and we can reshape the content okay so we can reshape the array so these two functions the shape function and reshape function represents the shape of the array so shape is shape function is uh, it will represent the existing shape and reshape if you want to change the shape right and now the initialization so how to initialize the values into array okay so for that one we are having a, a lot of uh, functions in that uh, we have seen that zero function okay zero function zeros means it will return an array with the given shape filling with all zeros okay we have to consider the array we have to give an array and we have to specify the shape so that all the elements all the indices will be initialized to zeros so we'll see so np dot zeros the function is zeros zeros and here we have to give the shape see i will give some 4 by 4 so you can observe here so array of 0.0.0 point, point, point so all the arrays will be filled with a zeros all the arrays or uh, array elements will be filled with zeros and here see and here we can also specify the data type so by default it will be float so it, here you can observe 0.0.0 point, point, point and if you specify the data type as integer you can observe here so all the values will be of integer all the values of it will be in integers right similarly this is a zeros and here we can go with a ones also np dot ones and here also the same thing 3 comma 4 see all the elements will be filled with ones okay and this by default here also the data type will be of float and if you want to change the data type of int so we have to use the parameter data type d type is equal to integer so obviously we'll get that see integer elements 
right so these are these two are the functions which we want to initialize the elements with zeros or ones either in a float or integer and there is a one more function called fill so we can give we can fill all the elements with a single element right so np dot full full is a function and here also we have to specify the shape and here the value which we want to fill let it be 10 so you can observe it will create an array with the two indices with each three elements and it will all the elements will be initialized to 10 by default uh, not by default so it will be uh, initialized to 10 if you change here a 10 with a 100 so automatically the elements will be initialized to 100 okay this is the usage of full function next i i here we have to pass a square matrix so that means a number of rows must be equal to number of columns and then it will create uh, it will initialize the all the diagonal elements as one and all other non diagonal elements to zero so here we'll give 3 comma 3 sorry see you can observe here so np dot i so here we should not give the a tuple of elements so because it is a it is always a square matrix okay it is always a square matrix so we can give only a, a rows or a columns so i have passed as a 3 so automatically 3 by 3 matrix is created and all the diagonal elements have filled with one point and all the remaining non diagonal elements are filled with zero points okay so hope you understood this one see if you want to uh, convert if you want to fill the elements with the integer data type then we have to use this parameter called d type so that all the diagonal elements will be filled with one and non diagonal elements will be filled with zeros right so these are the few uh, functions which are used to initialize the array with either zeros or ones or required element so that is very important the full function will uh, initialize all the elements with a given value a single value we have to pass a single value so that value will be initialized to all the elements of an array right next i function i function will take uh, one only one, one thing that is a number of rows or a columns so it will consider it as a square matrix so and all the diagonal elements will be considered as it will be initialized to one and all the non-dimensional elements will be initialized to zeros right so hope you understood all these things shape reshape zeros ones full and i so these are the functions which are used to initialize the nd array so let us stop here and uh, if you really understood my session uh, like my session and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, um, initialization uh, initialization of nd array feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much